What is up, all of you loner losers? It's your boy, Tyler the Virgin, back with some more Minecraft. Now, I will be doing it different by that. I mean, I am commentating, slash voiceovering, slash lyrically educating y'all. And yeah. So, in this episode, we, we will be building our base. But also, look. Horse. Say hi, horse. Get off of your high horse. Boom. Funny joke. I kidnapped him. He works for me full time. Alright, it's not slavery. That's just called stonks. But anyways, like, like an opening to a dramatic movie, this village comes into render distance, and it's just beautiful because, like, I discovered this off camera. I also found out that they have a cleric, so what did I do? I did any pro gamer move, and I kidnapped him. He works for me full time now, slavery, but he told me that he, that he has a wife and children, that's weird because they're all dudes down here, but yeah. Look at that, he sells me emeralds. That's a pretty gamer move. Now, when I came out of my house, my horse was gone. And I was like, whoa, where did he go? But then, like the David Blaine that he is, he's right here. I'm just like, bruh, where were you? Where, where, you. That's fine. Anyways, I have this Fletcher dude. His name is Fletcher because he's a Fletcher. And he can sell me sticks. But I already maxed them out for the day. So I gotta wait for him to hurry up. And accept my wood. Now. Let me tell you a story all about how. My life got flipped turned upside down. Haha <laughs> funny joke. I have 16 levels. I was in the nether. And I tripped. And I fell off of the fortress. And I died. It wasn't in lava but it was close. Luckily I lost nothing. That was bad. But look. Okay, watch this. As we go, boom, MTV Cribs. Look at that beauty, the butte, the absolute brute. Okay, but anyways, watch this game move where I throw my food down on the ground to get it all proteiny, and then I eat it. Okay, but then I place down this cactus. And look at that, the audacity. So I stomp on him, but he later gets revenge by becoming fireproof, which is pretty stupid if you ask me, but like, Whatever. So I'm back in my starter base to get some materials I need to build my real base, which consists of white concrete and other stuff later on. But I, ha I have to go to the desert to go find some more sand because I don't have any more. But as I'm doing this in the process, you will see there is a village. So I pillage it like any normal person would. I start by taking all of their wheat and then their wife and children. But don't have any children here, so I just start banging their wives. Kidding is the Christian channel. So I see this spectator, this witness, and I'm like, bro, what are you doing? So I threaten him. I'm like, listen here, back off or you're gay. And he's like, okay, I gotcha. So, haha, alpha male. And so I'm like, you know what? Why not just get the sand now? So I'm doing this because this. Place is the only place to sand the left in the desert. It's crazy, I know. Look at that. I need like two more. Nope, that was six. I mean, there we go. Oh, nope, two more. Haha, <laughs> kidding. Okay, for real, I'm done. But it's getting late, so I'm like, yo, knock knock, who's here? Oh, you're home? Oh, I'm sorry. So I creep up, but you'll never believe what I found in this chest. Nah, I'm just kidding, it's wheat. You got pranked epically. But I will say, look at this view though. He does have a nice place. Best place in the village if I do say so myself. But anyways, I decide to attack him. I'm like, ha, sneak attack. He doesn't like that. I'm like, hey, wake up. But he traps me by putting monsters in his house. Hmm. I swear, but he's lucky. That the iron golem wasn't there, but I go ahead and I hijack this dude's bed. I'm like, bro, give me some night night time. Good night. And so then I go to sleep and then I wake up. Welcome to how to sleep tutorial. Anyways, I head back home so that way I can start work on my b -b 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 base. And when I get there, I'm like, bro, I really need to find a place. So what do I do? I hop on my horse, my high horse. Get off your high horse, but I accidentally placed down my ender chest, which is annoying, but like, cry me a river. So I mined that, which is really fast with my efficiency 4 pickaxe. It's not efficiency 5, but like, it's okay. 
And so I start to head a way that I've never been before. And it slowly turns into a place where I have been because that's the village I was just at. It's crazy. I know. But I'm like, okay, maybe there's a place f- further on because I haven't explored past this village yet. I'm like, okay, what can I see? And then I see it. The hillside. The hillside I've been wanting for this base because this base will be extra cool with a hillside. But this horse embarrasses me in front of all my friends. Look at, look at this. Look at that. So I'm like, look, bro, move or you're gay. And he doesn't want to move, so I push him. I force him to not be gay. That's the kind of establishment we run here. I'm not homophobic, though. So I get there, and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's a pretty nice place. I'll just park my, my horse down here after I break his ankles because he wouldn't jump high enough. Now he's forced to jump high enough. So I dig myself out, and then I go up there, and I'm like, whoa, this place needs some major terraforming. So I get to work. I work all day. I work all night. It's crazy. By the time I get done, I'm like, whoa, it's nighttime. How about I just become anti-Mr. Beast and chop down the rest of these trees later tomorrow? So I, I contemplate it, and I'm like, yeah, that works. So what do I do? I look at my work, and then I head back home. I get on my horse, but I realize that it'd be way too long for me to just go back home. It's so useless. So I ring up the old telly, and I'm like, hey, yo, Tyrone, he lives in his village. I'm like, can I crash at your place tonight? He's like, yeah, man, of course, just stop by. So I become a respectable gentleman. I park my horse at the parking lot, and that's, that's Tyrone. We don't sleep in the same bed, though. We don't put our beds next to each other because we're respectable human beings. But my horse is gone again, so I use his favorite calling food. Carrot, 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 carrot. Look at that. There he is. A hot bun. And we go. He redeems himself, though. Look at this. Boom. Perfect. Good job. Also, what should I name my horse? Because I don't know what to name him uh, or her. You know, it's 2020. Or it, even. Whatever. I I had to place down my inner chest and put a bunch of my stuff in it because it was all stuff I needed but I didn't have room for. So smart move. Anyways, I started chopping down these these trees and there's places in the trees where I cannot reach it. So I'm like, well, I'll just burn it. So that's what I do. I burn it like I did to this one kid in third grade. He was like, yo, bro, you're so ugly. And I'm like, I know you are, but what am I? Nah, I'm just kidding. That never happened. He called me that, and then I cried in the bathroom. But it wasn't actually the boy's bathroom. No one told me that the girl's bathroom had their own bathroom. So not only was I crying in the bathroom, I was crying in the wrong bathroom, which means I was extremely humiliated when everybody was laughing at me, and then nobody wanted to be my friend because they thought I was a creepy guy who liked to hang out in girls' bathrooms. Sorry. Anyways, I start... Burning down these trees, you know, it was quite a bit. I had like a stack and a half of logs, but then I start building my base. Now what I'm going for here, oh, TikTok. What I'm going for here is like a cubic slash futuristic theme, kind of. Like, there's going to be lots of different rooms, and each room is a cube. And it's going to be great. So what I'm working on here is the main entrance. I'm going to add more more detail into it as time goes on, of course, but like, yeah. It's 7x7, seven seven, but I don't like it, so I expand it to 8x8. Eight eight. And now, as we're doing here, look at this, pro. What we're doing here is, I am just, I am adding the, whatchamacallit, the legs? Yes, sir, legs. And I'm running out of concrete fast, so i got to do what i got to do. But as I'm placing this down... I'm going to take a look at it. Okay, so watch this. I'll place it down. You know, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, God, place down this leg. Oops. But I'm like, something doesn't seem right here. As you can saw right there. Look at that. It's uneven by one block. So I got to tear down all of it and rebuild it all up by one block, which is stupid. But, like, I get it done. Transition. That was clean. I know. I fixed it. So... Yeah, but now I'm working on the floor. No, this is what the floor will be. I'm just 
trying to lay something out because I wanted to like go down like a block, like the whole entire house. So yeah, it's gonna be like a caved in kind of thing. So instead of two, I just I just decided to make it one. I dig out eight blocks. I go up eight blocks. I don't know what I'm saying. But I dig out. Now to some people, this might anger you. The fact that it's like this. And it's not symmetrical in any way, shape, or form. But honestly, that was your opinion. And you can honestly just keep it to yourself. Okay, I'm sorry. That was a little mean. Uh, just don't talk to me. So, like, yeah. I'm building out because I don't want it to be too long. Because that would be awkward. Yeah. But this is the best part. Because as I'm building it, you know... I got the measurements all right. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it more. Look at that. I'm finishing it off. Wait. Wait. Boom. Go down. MOG Pro. <sighs> so I'm placing it down. And then if you look at how many blocks I have left, this, that's not a lot. Like, I'm about to be out here soon. But this is what everything in the series has led up to. All of that thing I did was just anticipating for how much blocks I would need to build just this one part. Look at that. The exact amount. It was crazy. So I build up and I admire my, my work. This is a base. This is the base of our base. Do you get the base of it? Yeah. Anyways, I head back home because I decided, hey, I want to get some more concrete. So, I go home, and I pull up to the crib, I'm like, skirt, 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 with my Gucci horse wearing Gucci armor. Pull up, I'm like, hey fam, honey, I'm home, and then I go out to go get some gravel, but the only gravel I can think of at the moment is, whatchamacallit, caves, of course, because I don't live next to an ocean. So I think, well, I'm here, I'll just go ahead and go mining, right? Right. Wrong. So I found a cave, and I'm like, okay, gotta go. I didn't record much, but what I did record was bad. Except for this part. Look at this. Such satisfying. Look at this. That's why you subscribed. For all of this satisfying content right there. But this is where everything went bad. I was trying to dig myself back up. And then I missed a jump. Oh, listen. That, that, that sound, yeah, that's the stuff my pickaxe is burning up. Out of all of the gear I had, that was, those were the things I did not want to burn up. And those were the only things that burned up, besides like a few things of coal. That's about it. But yeah, I got all my armor back, except for my pickaxes. But luckily, for my fortune pickaxe, I did manage to get to about like 30 something diamonds before I died and they were all in my inner chest. Which at this time I thought I lost because it burned up and I'm like well, that sucks. I had everything. All my emeralds, my diamonds, my iron, my eyes, my, yeah. But anyways, I'm like okay, I need to get back up because that was a whole, I came through I see my inner chest and I'm like, <gasps> felt like an idiot. I place it down, but then comes the most big brain move in the history of Minecraft. Look at this. I'm like, okay, I'll take this, take that, make this, destroy that, then make that, then combine that, and then boom, I will have another inner chest. And then I, I take a few diamonds just in case, because yeah, big X. Anyways, I get home, I made my stuff, and I'm like, oh, well, I guess I might as well get a pickaxe so I'll go down to the basement I make a pickaxe and look at this I'm breaking three the next one is silk touch so which one should I get silk touch or I'm breaking three I'm breaking three could have a could have fortune on it of inefficiency or could have silk touch inefficiency whatever you know it's gonna be great I don't know also I am on my bed because I am a tired boy I am sick so this is taking a lot of, of energy. But I was downstairs looking for my emergency um, uh, quartz that I had. Because 
I got it, like, after the second episode. And I kept it just in case if I ever needed emergency XP. And sure enough, here we are. So, I start placing. I start placing. Start placing. Start placing. Start placing and placing and placing and placing and placing and placing and placing. This is a stack of 50, by the way. So, yeah, I get to the top, and what do I do? I start mining it. Oh, yeah. I'm at seven levels, okay? This is absolutely a true story of American history. Look at this. Seven levels to 18 levels. Like a true madman that I am. Gosh, this was such a good idea. But I'm not at 30 levels yet. So, what am I going to do? I decide I'm going to make a blast furnace. Because I have about two stacks of iron ore in my ender chest. So, I'll put one stack in there. And then I'll wait for the other smooth stone to smelt. And then I'll make another one. Boom. Why, why are they so expensive, by the way? Like, for real. Could Mojang make any more expensive stuff? Anyways, I start smoking that, and then I go AFK while they do that. And then I come back, and they are done. So, I'm at 18 levels. Look at this. Ready? Ready? Boom. One more. One more. Boom. Look at that. But, that barely did anything. So, I decide to de-enchant my chest plate. It's not the best enchantments anyways. So, yeah. Also, I will be using all of my emeralds to get back more more levels. Now, that was a decent one. You know, it got me up to 20 levels, but I still need to get 30. 20 is not 30. Ugh. So, anyways, I'm over here at the cleric. I managed to get him to the XP bottles. So, I use that to my advantage. Boom. All this delicious XP bottles. Don't eat them, though. They're made of glass. You idiot. Why would you eat glass? Uh, I also go over to the Fletcher. I made ex exactly a stack of sticks. Which is nothing. But it's two emeralds. So, yeah. But I go over here to this village. Because I need a villager that can trade wheat. I don't have any at, my, at my, that, that village. So, I look. I look and I look and I look. I'm like, hello, anybody in there? No. But I see this guy. Toolsmith. Who will give me coal for emeralds and I'm like bro that's the deal I got a heck of coal so I'm like okay okay I'll give you coal I'll give you coal but he won't let me trade anymore because he's a racist look at this boom boom oh I can't trade anymore sorry I don't accept white people <sighs> whatever okay so then I take to the sand the desert owns me I'm trying to find a village that has a farmer but I see a, a, a little patch of grass, and then I see a roof. I'm like, oh, a village, yay! But then I see something in the farm. It's a cobweb, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's abandoned. Are you kidding me? No, nothing good comes here. So I harvest their food, and I keep on going. But then I get bored, so I turn back. True American hero story. Anyways, I get back. I exchange all of the goods. Boo, 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 boo. Besides the wheat, because, you know, nobody wants to take my wheat. But, I'm only at 22 levels. So, I head back to the village. to get more trades. I'm like, I parked my horse way too close, because he was just like, whatever. I go up there, and I'm like, okay, bro, look, I'm here to get some more stuff. What are you willing to trade? He's like, well, what you willing to guy? I'm like, well, what, I, what I'm willing to guy is what I'm willing to trade. He's like, okay, bet. So I get some XP bottles, and then outside I can get some more inner pearls. Pretty good. But I'm like, okay, I think I'm done for today. Ooh, that. Ha, psych, come here. And so, oh, voice crack. Don't want to add that in there. Too late. It's already in here. That's embarrassing. Okay. Anyways. I'm still on the quest to find a farmer. So, I find my horse, who parked right where I left him. And then, as I go up here, look at this. Where did you come from? For real. But like, hey, I'm not complaining. But then he doesn't take any more of my wheat. But he does take pumpkins. So, pumpkin farm. 
Maybe. I don't know. Now, did you notice how many carrots were in my inventory? 48. But at the time, I didn't know that I had carrots. So, yeah, that was fun. But I'm like, oh, hey, 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 I have carrots. You? Gross. Get out of here. You? Yes, you. Come here. You. Come here. Carrots? Boom. One emerald. Boom. But I'm like, oh, hey, I can almost get that. But it's 22, not 20, so I'm down again. I come back, get like three more, because I can, and that's whatever. Uh, I'm extremely sick right now. Ugh, you, yes you, come here, emerald, boom, got it, ha. And so I go back, and I'm like, okay bro, I'm back again. But this man, man I've known since childhood, changed me. Look at that. He betrays me. The audacity of some people. <sighs> like, for real. Uh, so I just get, like, an enchanting bottle, and I'm like, okay, I'll get another interval. Why not? But there's better be cheap again when I come back. So I think I'm going to turn him into a zombie villager, and then turn him into a regular villager. Anyways, I'm on my way back. I go home. And I decide I want to end this episode off by trying to see which way my end portal is. So I make six eyes of Ender, which is pretty dope, I know. Uh, I'm so stuffy. <laughs> so I go outside. I'm like, okay. Be gone. Wah. I turn around. And it's behind me. So that's good to know. There could be more villages back there or whatnot. I go up to go get it. And then I ended off with a sick boom. That was dope. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, tell me if I should get a breaking three or a silk touch. A silk touch. Like, what should I do? But yeah. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. Uh, I'm, I'm just talking and thinking stuff up on the spot. Yeah.